Good morning, fellow Ambazonians. Today, na Monday, country Sunday, number 24 day for this number 10 month for the year 2022. My name na Capo Daniel, the Deputy Defense Chief of the Ambazonian Defense Forces and the spokesperson of the Ambazonian Governing Council, aka Sense Pass King, on our own countryman. On our welcome for our daily podcast, a program who they bring una the truth, who they bring una meaningful information, fact-based analysis for help we as would worker for this journey to our freedom, the independence of Ambazonia. Good people of Ambazonia, the episode, the name for the episode of today will be titled The Licking Zing. La Republic du Cameroon, Iran de la Houseway, it roof, it leak. Houseway, zing, it boss. Water, it is drip, it is pass for ceiling, it is fall for house. Rain, it is fall for our side. Way for stop them in no day. Bucket them, where they put them for cash water for ceiling, it don't flop. Tower them, where they don't take them for block door for parlor, it don't suck. Water, they enter for house. The one they enter for backside, it they enter for front door. Picking them, they don't join hand for carry water, they throw them for our side, way in no day. There is no hope, the flooding it be inevitable. This one na the best description we man if he gam for La Republic to Cameroon as the heart attack we be be predicted in the beginning of this liberation struggle in Ambazonian Rising by Harmony Bokpa, the elected Ambazonian president of the Common Law Law Association. It be declared for Liberty Square for Bamenda Commercial Avenue for 2016. Say Cameroon it will suffer a heart attack as a result of Ambazonian resistance. That dream, that prophecy, it then they come true with La Republic du Cameroon battling with prices control for commodities. They start for fight with price for fuel, begging Nigeria and getting loan from France to guarantee importation of petroleum into La Republic du Cameroon to steady prices. There are run for shortage of rice to shortage of flour and today for La Republic du Cameroon, three major community, light, cooking gas, cooking oil, they then become scarce in an alarming rate where they fear for an implosion within La Republic du Cameroon from their streets, from their economic capital for Douala to Yaoundé. Cameroon, it don't run out of friends, it don't run out of the ability for borrow loans, they don't run out of their scams for recycle the same old politics for be able for survive. They don't jumbo, it don't end. They don't chop money, chop broke pot. La Republic du Cameroon, they de face a likely situation of anarchy in Yaoundé and Douala with the expectation of rioting in the air as their officials they de scramble for fuel in the supply of gas, oil, and essential issue where they don't get the ability for meet up with them. If anybody be them buy into their so-called emergence for 2035, there is no dream. La Republic du Cameroon is a dying horse. Na houseway is ceiling it don't boss. The zinc it don't boss. Heavy rain it don't come. The house in Ophi hole. The house it will be flooded as we see for the street of Yaoundé. With Ngambe for main junction, where they lead up to their presidency. The Ngambe, he get picture for La Republic, their top terrorist, Paul Bia B. Vondo, with the woman, Shanta Bia, woman we sees them for Bafoon Man, with the picture for Ngongo, all them life for they with two head for cow them, pass her by the, the wash them, and they be in amaze for which way they happen. Video is circulated widely. He get red clothes for ground, two head them for cow, then lie for day. There is news say the infighting where they go on for La Republic for power changes as poor be a time for die, it don't become rich, it don't be for level way, go on go, go likely feed the head from Konengi. The house of cards in La Republic du Cameroon are now crumbling. My fellow Ambazonians, if you have heard me before and you think it's a joke, all the network of the Ambazonian Governing Council 
are pointing to danger. There is fire on the mountains in La Republic. The signs are bad and the writings are on the wall. If you are an Ambazonia in La Republic, take measures to secure yourself. Blending alone will not help you. Better still, come back home or run to ground one or ground two for shelter. There is fire on the mountain. What you have seen today of this witchcraft in Nanga Eboko with pictures of Paul Bia, Shanta Bia, and Gongo, Ferdinand Gongo, are just the beginning of the tips of what is happening in that country. The cats are crumbling. The infighting in La Republic to Cameroon will have deadly consequences and there will likely be firefight. Ferdinand Gongo, who is believed to have put this Ngambe, trying to use witchcraft to secure his position in La Republic to Cameroon, and the triangle with Shantabia. Our people should know that this external politics and the enemy camp will have serious and direct ramification on our people, our liberation movement, the quest for our independence and our national security. There have been no concession or no agreement in La Republic to Cameroon, including in France, regarding succession plan to dictator Satan himself, Paul Bia. Everything is possible in that La Republic to Cameroon. There is no agreement amongst the Ewondo. The French Cameroon military base, the France military base in Gabon, where a large tribe of Ewondo military men are ready to back up France's policy in La Republic du Cameroon are having problem to have access in that country. There is a standoff. The people who are in support of Frank Bia are just a faction in that country. The perfect storm have come. The economic is crumbling. Zing for house idam boss. Water the enter for all side. The nofi remove them in time. You also get the interest in France. The many commercial interests that have become like vipers, the Leviathans, the vampires in the name of Boluri and the rest who have commercial interests also have their, their horse in this race that they are backing. You also have the Israelite military industrial complex that is supporting Ferdinand Gongo and he has the backing of the presidential guard and the bees that were largely trained by the Israelis who have become not just a player but a stakeholder in transition of power in that country. So you have Ngongo, Shantabia with their camp being supported by the Israeli military complex and you have the French interests of Boluri supporting other factions, lack of consensus and agreement for succession within the Ewondo and the Bulu Beti clans and the clique that have been ruling that country, sucking everybody like vampires, sucking blood out of their people. You also have dark horses like Mengbengo, who was a former defense minister in La Republic, who is in Konengi. This same individual was arrested by the other faction because he went to China to seek for weapons, bought huge catch of military equipment. When he returns with those weapons as the Minister of Defense, he selectively divide them to enforce and to empower certain units in La Republic to Cameroon military that backs him. Half of those weapons are not accounted for and they have no idea of the dark forces that stands by him while he is in Kondengi. The House of La Republic is divided. The consciousness of our people should be at its peak during this period when these things are happening. While within us in Ambazonia, we need to consolidate our nationalism and our nationalist movements. We need to come together, not just for coming together sake, but to collaborate in an effective way to liberate our country. All patriotic Ambazonians must support best practices, support good initiatives that have the potential and track record to help our people and to build a better and accountable forces in Ground Zero to help liberate our country. We need this cohesion. Without the collaboration, and we still have the impediments of the nationalist movement by confused soldiers in Ground Zero, lost and found, being manipulated by activists who are seeking relevance and are playing with the future of the entire nations of Ambazonia for political expedience. The same so-called activists, stakeholders, advisors or politicians who are better called as political scavengers. These people at one moment 
were saying it is Bui Unity Warrior. It was Bui Warrior. If it is not Bui Warrior, it means you don't want unity. Everybody must become Bui Warrior. What happened then? They became bushers, killing our nationalist forces. They became a buffer zone between our forces and La Republic to Cameroon, creating an end of the era of trans-state mobilization effort by the Amazonian Defense Forces that were the aim earmark of General Mba Evo, the first blood and the first supreme commander of the ADF. They held us down. Standing on our feet, standing on our slippers, did not only mean that the nationalist movement cannot go forward, but they themselves will stand on the same spot, something they have no problem with, because the Cameroonese is still within them, is still in their mind and their way of thinking. We have seen the same activists who come up on one day and say that it is Bui Warrior or nothing. The next day, Sako come, it is ASC or nothing. The next day, it is ARM, it is ARF. We are all ARF. If you are not ARF, it is nothing. They change and they hear about Bui Unity Warrior. It is either Bui Unity Warrior or nothing. We are now all Bui Unity Warrior. If you don't join the Bui Unity Warrior, it means you don't want unity. It means you are the problem. It means you are the one working with La Republic. From Bui Unity Warrior, it is now ground zero. How long shall they play with the minds of our soldiers? For how long shall they continue to confuse us with their confusion, with their syndrome that is coming from La Republic, the virus of corruption, the virus that needs to be emancipated from their mindset? Oh, oh, Ambazonia, children of light, the light of Africa, rise up and abandon the way of foolishness, of confusion, and adopt best practices, adopt collaboration, recognize your nationalists, recognize your cornerstone, because that stone will be what will lead you to your freedom. They have walked round and round and round and round until they will come back to the center and then we will be effective in doing the job and getting our job done. The envy, the jealousy, the wickedness, the big manism, and all these syndromes will not lead us anywhere. We must embrace the nationalist movement and stop assisting the enemy who is colluding with social media murgot and mainstream media to use the narrative about our struggle against our diplomatic effort and even against our ability to mobilize our people we have assisted negative press labeling our own forces as kidnappers legitimate ambazonian actions carried out for the liberation of our people we label them kidnappers simply because we want to put them down so that we can be seen or become relevant by so doing, we assist the enemy and their propaganda and the narrative against our soldiers. We discourage collaboration because we want to neutralize the nationalist movement which stands for what we are actually fighting for. By so, we have allowed soldiers to be without any supervision, without any code of conduct. They have turned their backs and some of them, as we have seen in the case of Manu, have done the worst. Now only say, now God get power and our people are determined to see this thing through for this is the time for freedom. Indeed, it is the time for freedom. Our people must come together, shine their eyes, reject pollution, reject the viruses from La Republic to Cameroon, reject nepotism, tribalism, and embrace nationalism and the nationalist spirit of Ambazonia. They must stand for the principles of nationalism. They must reject Cameroon and support every initiative that sounds good that is not just sounds good, but that is there for practical reasons to free our people. They must accept that Ambazonian is free and independence actually means independence. If you say independence and then you are fighting for Cameroon national plate, you are fighting for everything Cameroonese. You are protecting Cameroon teachers, Cameroon government, Cameroon government officials, Cameroon everything. Tomorrow, you will fall prey to those who have received money for La Republic to Cameroon to betray the blood of those who have gone ahead of us. Where is the Sikot who used to work with Sako who received 40,000 US dollars from La Republic to Cameroon? That money is finished. What about Bariku who also received 40,000 US dollars from La Republic to Cameroon? The business he started with that money is also crumbling and the money is gone. Where is Success in Congo who received money from La Republic to Cameroon? According to what we heard, was twenty thousand US dollar. The money is gone. Where is Nambere? 
because of the confusion, because of the lack of patriotism, our people have made our, our own people vulnerable and susceptible for Cameroon bribery. Because in the face of confusion, who would blame these individuals who have fallen prey of La Republic to Cameroon corruption and bribery? Chris Anu, Sako have all admitted of taking money from La Republic du Cameroon. They have confessed, despite the evidence that were evident for everybody to know. Man will chop money. You know if he talk straight. How many people that don't chop money will never see them? Maybe it is a reason why some people are defending the Cameroonese. Maybe it is a reason why people are defending Cameroon number plate. Because when you take money money, there is no way you know go do something for that man. You know go show some loyalty for that man. When you don't take money money, you must do something for that man too. You must do them. Because you don't compromise yourself, you could be fierce that they can expose you one day. Now either way, they need to talk straight. They need to see come campaign for lockdown, for ghost town every Monday. They need to even promote Ambazonian flag anymore. They need to even sing come Ambazonian national anthem anymore. Slowly, slowly, they don't move Ambazonian flag for their platforms. Then they now have attack the nationalist agenda. For sure, La Republic said that they do good job. All their focus now for Capo Daniel Ayabacho, Capo Daniel Ayabacho, and they will use infighting like an excuse for do the same thing. They go come, hey, mugu go join the group. Hey, nana, honorable Weber, mugu bring honorable Weber, I can't stand before. No, they don't love honorable Weber. They just want to use him as a substitute to the leadership of the nationalists that are uncompromising. Hey, na general, if it go up, it come down, it do this, it do this. The next day, you have seen the verdict. Our people in their thousands stand up together with the ADF to march and say, Ambazonia, Ambazonia, all hail Ambazonia. In seven different states, the ADF put up our national flag, hoisted our people, mobilized them to stand for independence and the nationalism of Ambazonia under one structure, one command, loyalty and on oath to serve and defend Ambazonia and fight against all enemies, both those within and without. Their only hope is to continue to inflict pain and suffering to our people by continuing with the confusion to maybe satisfy their masters. It is time for Ambazonia to see them for who they are, to deny them even the ability to use Southern Cameroon as a substitute to Ambazonia because they cannot talk about Ambazonia. They cannot embrace Ambazonia because they are indeed sleeping and eating with Cameroon. As the Americans will say, if it did talk like Dog Fowl, if it did walk like Dog Fowl, if it did shit water water like Dog Fowl, yes. Nadokfau. God bless you all. Kapo Daniel signing out.